Lines are up to 1.2 million and 2.4 million with a 400K ante win with Jack Five of Diamonds. On Quee's third attempt at a satellite, he won his main event seat. His family urged him to sell the seat worth $10,000. Lucky for them, he did not. There's a raise to 6.7 million. Veo looks down at Queen Nine off. Veo would be the ninth straight 20 something to win the main event. That streak started with Peter Eastgate in 2008. Veo starting this hand with a million fewer chips than Kui Win. He calls for 4.3 million more. But you know, maybe 39 is the lucky number. Greg Raymer was 39 when he won in 04. Joe Hashem was 39 in 05. Jerry Yang was 39 in 07. Kui Win is 39. Top pair for Veo. Two clubs hit the board. Veo checks to the pre flop razor. Yeah, this is a familiar pattern. Veo has the best hand. Win's going to bet. Veo's going to check call. Kui always obliges with a continuation bet. This one is worth 9.7 million. And this is pretty much Gordon's game plan, heads up. Wait for hands, let Kui win, bet at it, and pick him off for a lot of chips at the end. Veo with the best of it. Puts together calling chips, and they're in the pot now. And you know, Gordon's game plan would look a whole lot better right now if Kui didn't hit the flush in the previous hand to win that huge pot. Turn card, 10 of hearts. That keeps Veo ahead. But he's still letting Kui lead the way. And Kui is still drawing to a pair. But his hand doesn't matter often. It's the amount of chips he puts into the pot that matters often. Good point. He loves to move chips. And the chip leader wants to move another big stack of yellows. That is 27.7 million. And when you're calling down a lot of hands like Gordon is, you need to be prepared to make mistakes, and you need to be prepared to pick off bluffs. I think Gordon's game, though, is built for that. You know, incredibly, at age 27, Gordon has been picking off bluffs almost half his life. Veo. Wondering, is now a time for a check raise? Is, nope, just a call. Of course, a check raise there probably ends the hand. Underscore probably. You just never know with Kui Win. River card now is a five that pairs Kui Win, but he cannot win the hand in the showdown. Veo checks a third time. Yeah, as you mentioned, Kui hitting one of his draws, making a losing pair of fives. All in. <laughs> what? He said all in. Gordon keeps playing defense. He's just not equipped for this offense. Can you really call off all your chips with second pair? Win dangling the chip lead in Veo's face, but in there also the possibility of being knocked out with a call. You know, I'm not even sure if Kui's all-in is a bluff or if he thinks he has the best hand, but maybe that's what makes it so smart. Kui keeps putting Gordon in awful positions. Most players would just be happy to get the showdown. Veo has to suss this out. Chip lead, knocked out. You have to separate the two to find a clear answer here. And he does fold angrily. <laughs> we win. Gordon Vail is either frustrated that his style of play that he's chosen is not working, or he thinks the cards are conspiring against him. Either way, he's trailing. Quee win is taking poker back to the future. He leaves me breathless with his plays. Nice hand, Quee. Thank you. Continuing three-handed, the blinds now at 601.2 million. Josephy with pocket deuces, raises to two and a half million. Veo with pocket trays. Veo, 27 years old, 27 World Series caches. This means he's caching once a year, every year of his life. He wasn't caching in the World Series when he was four years old. Yes, he was. <laughs> he calls with his trays. Win with Ace Jack. 
Quee said, let's gamble after he doubled up Josephy. He is a gambler. And a re-raise with Ace Jack to 7.7 .7 million. Quee wins coach, young fan, told him tonight to be aggressive but keep the pot small. I'm not sure how you do both. Josephy and Veo certainly would like to play small ball as much as possible. Josephy with the smallest pocket pair. And he calls for 5.2 million more. Veo now with another small pocket pair. Veo has not been that active at this final table, but it has led him to the final three. Very respected in the poker world. And he does make the call. So a family pot energizing the crowd. All right, here we go. And a deuce for Cliff and a tray for Veo. Set over set. Set over set over pre-flop aggressor. We're going to see some chips fly into the middle. Veo checks his stronger set. Wen, who missed that flop, as you mentioned, was the pre-flop aggressor. Obliged to continue here. 9.9 .9 million stepping into the hornet's nest. Yeah, Kui might gamble his way from big stack to small stack very, very quickly. And now Josephy Coolard with a set under set. But Cliff absolutely loves this spot. Both he and Veo thinking the same thing. Let Kui build the pots, and we can eventually take a lot of his chips. Josephy working with the chips upon which he recently doubled up. Almost painful to watch Josephy descending into the dungeon here. He makes the call. Now Veo with that statue-like face, the dominating set. There is a call from Gordon. And Kate can hardly stand it. It's a trapper's convention, but one of the trappers is trapped by the other trapper. Four of diamonds gives Wynn a wheel draw. Well, ace five and five six got there. Nobody has either hand. Veo checks Check. again. We win. The chip Check. leader is done pumping the pot. Well, this is what Josephy's been waiting for. He's 90% certain. He's ahead here. Though it might cross his mind that there are too many hands Veo would call a flop with, given the pre-flop action. Check, check. 21 million from Josephy. Well, Veo is 90% certain he's ahead here. They both can't be right. Veo's got to figure Josephy would have four bet pre-flop with pocket kings. So Gordon very comfortable here with his set of threes. The rails, anything but comfortable. By the way, if Veo just calls here, I'm not 90% certain Win will fold. He might check raise just for kicks. On. And oh. Veo is going for it all. That's over 75 million. Win folds. Can Josephy get away from this? This is the hand of the final table, set over set. Josephy just doubled up. If he calls here, he'll be down to eight big blinds. I mean, could Veo have, like, king-queen? Seems impossible. I hate to be armchair quarterback, since I don't have arms on my chair and this isn't football, but I think this is a fold. It's hard to fold a set, but is Gordon really bluffing here? Oh, wow, he almost called double checks and does call! <laughs> And we'll finally learn the truth. Set under set. I knew he had it. I can't fold it. I can't fold it. He didn't flat the threes yesterday. And he flatted them today. He folded, he folded yesterday out of the small. What? Joe Catta. Where's Joe Catta? We need a two. We need a two. We need a two. Cliff was one of Joe Catta's backers of 2009, and Catta hit a big two on his way to the main event title. A two's coming. Smile, a two's coming. Let's go. Two's coming. Put a deuce up there. It's coming. Only one deuce left in the deck. Veo, one non-deuce away from the chip lead, and he has it! It is what it is. I know, I, mean, I know. You're going to be big one. I almost folded it. I know. He has to have it. He has to have it. 
and, the, and what, what swayed me was yes, somebody must have said you're you're folding too light out of this, you know. I so whatever, I can't fold. Much of the heat coming from Will Kasoop. He has nine high, but has put Stacy Madison in a quandary. Yeah, a this, decision uh, for all her chips with pocket queens. Well, there's over 600k in there, so I want you to go. You cannot say anything that influences the action of the hand. Saying what's in the pot, you cannot say. She keeps saying. You cannot say. You cannot say what's in the pot. Anything that influences the action, you all cannot these, say. Like, right. he's like, okay. you're, you're, you're like breaking all these rules, and they're not giving you a penalty. Well, not anything uh, the decisions are new, young lady, and you don't need to go on I mean, about it. I'm just. World Series officials on scene to keep it within bounds. I want you to call. I told you. Good luck to you. But I did say I'll keep it friendly because it's you and it's a friendly table. If you fold and show, I will show. I'll keep it friendly. But I want you to call 100%. Don't want to bust out with the whole camera crew watching there. This will be embarrassing. You don't put me on this hand, I tell you. I can't say what I've got. But you do not it's put me on this hand. I'm, I'm not talking about my hand. How come his hand is still live when he's I'm just saying, you don't put me on this hand. That's all I said. Action's on you. Yeah, I know, but I, Action's I mean... Action's on you. Isn't the rule tough to influence action? You can't talk to influence action. He has. He told, he's telling me he wants me to I will be having a discussion with this gentleman after this hand is over. At that's this fine. point, there's nothing that's out of line, but we will be having a talk. That's fine. All I said was, I'll keep it friendly. If she so folded just, show, I will show. I'll keep it friendly. Cool. That's It's a friendly table. We're I'm just having enjoying ourselves. Let's stop talking until this hand's over. That's fine. That's friendly. I mean, why wouldn't you want to bust me? I'm not trying to bust you. Sir? I'm not going to ask you again. Okay. Okay. Just two hands ago, these two had a similar showdown. Kasuf check shoved on the turn with a straight flush, talked up a storm, and Madison correctly folded a pair of aces. I'll say that shot. I'll keep it friendly. You're going to show me a worse hand. What does that I'm mean? not. But this is your Listen. last warning. You're going to get a penalty. She, she, she comes talking to me. I said nothing. She's not talking to you personally. She, she She's just talking out loud, okay? You will receive a penalty if another word comes out of your mouth until the, uh, this hand is finished. Will's talk is fine until they tell him it's not. Now LaFleur says he cannot talk. Tournament director Jack Ethel right on Kasuf's shoulder. Well, now he's talking without speaking. He's pushing it. I'm going to handle this one. Thank you, sir. I need a lot of time here to make a decision. Will has put Stacy all in. Stacy has the best hand. Hey, Floor, how about a clock? We all have to Table mate Mitch Garshowski has called the clock on Stacy. If you have an active, you will get a 10 second countdown. If it's kind of zero, you're going to be good. You know, it's a big decision. All right, all right, slow down. Usually I'm in favor of calling the clock, but she has been under siege most of the time from Will Kasuf. I would have given her a little more room. The floor person does have the authority to deny a clock request. I'm going to ask you real quick. The next I say what? If you okay. make one more gesture like that. Okay. I'm just trying to be friendly with the lady. Okay. No. Okay. This is not friendly. Okay. okay. I, I, don't want to I, I don't want to see. You, I don't word. want to see you move. You and okay. I are going to have a conversation okay. when this is over. Okay. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. She falls. You want to see it? Yeah, I want to see it. bluff. Turn the double gutter and missed. Never mind. Nine high like a boss. No heart. Big heart of a lion. Nine high like a boss. So we have a little rule at the World Series of Poker that right. says you are not supposed to be disrespectful yeah, no, to other players' I mean, table. I almost did call, too. Right. Okay. Buckle heads up, it's like speech play, it's loud as I'm but, but, but wait a minute, but wait a minute. You taunted her by these motions, did you not? I that wasn't was, talking. No, no, no. I was, no. We said before you came over, sir. No, listen right. to me. The guys were saying that you cannot just say anything. I said 100% taunting. 100% the way that you were treating what, her. What, I was, what, what did you think that I was trying to say to so, her? So, so listen. Can I, can I ask you that? So, what do you think I was trying to say to her? You were trying to get her to call to make a decision. No, 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 no. You weren't here before the other okay. course that okay. way. So I told her. You, uh, can you hear me out, please, one second? I said, I'll keep it friendly. If you fold and show, I will show. They, and the other gentleman said, if, if you have one more word out of you, you have a penalty. So without saying it, I, I said, you show, I'll show. That's, that's uh, what I meant. Hey, Dave, this guy's on a one-round penalty until he gets back to the small one round. line. One round. All right, excuse me, sir. 
So, okay, you're getting ready to get two rounds. Okay, so listen, listen, listen to me. You're, you're done explaining. So the best, best thing, best thing you can do is you can go to the side of the rail. If I hear one more thing, it's two rounds. I understand that. Okay, I just want to explain myself. That's all. Okay, I apologize. It was a long time. We were all ready to do it. Yeah, but who cares? It's my turn. I'm I was 80 to 90 percent calling over the hand, but all this table talk and this distraction about him telling me what I had and doing things that were penalty worthy, um, it kind of affected my decision because never in that spot was I folding. So now it put me in a position now with 500,000 to go all in with aces, which is great because I could have doubled up. But also I might not have lost that hand because the guy maybe never calls when I have 1.5 million in chips. So that really affected the whole tournament there. But um, listen, you know, I survived as strong as I could for everybody at home. Um, and this is a great tournament to play. And thanks, guys. Take care. A gracious Stacy Madison takes her lead. Diamonds. Ruan calls for 450,000. James Opes in the small blind with sevens just calls. And now Kui Win, the local with a taste for Baccarat with 9-6. And Kui Wynn still wearing that hat. A friend needs to set up an intervention. <laughs> All right, Wynn with great pot odds for him. Does call for white flop now. And the flop is queen seven. Jack Opes comes up big with a set of sevens. Ruan picks up a straight flush draw. The table chip leader Opes checks and Wynn checks. Pons flops top pair, big kicker. He's going to bet, and he's 4%. <laughs> with a pair of queens, does bet 625. Ruan now with that straight flush draw. I'd like to immediately apologize to Michael. That was a pretty good-looking jump shot. Norman, at what point do you fold a straight flush draw? I do not. Not in this or any subsequent lifetime. Ruan putting some big chips together. And that is a race of 2,025,000. Well, I think Opes has exactly what he wants. But remember, Pons raised under the gun preflop, so it's possible he could have pocket queens or jacks, and then this would be a set over set situation. Opes with the set of seven. 5.3. Wants to re raise to 5.3 million. Get out of my pot. Win folds. Hans does get out of the way. Back to Ruan now. Who's thinking, oops, I might be in big trouble. And he could be facing a set or even an ace-high flush draw here. Pot's already almost 10 million. Both of these gentlemen started the hand with more than 22 million in front of them. And there's a call from Ruan. No give up in Mike Ruan right now. My goodness. turn card now. What a pot we've got going is the Ten of Clubs, Ruan with the straight flush. I don't remember the last time we saw a straight flush, Norman. I'm sorry, Lon. That, that card seems beyond the realm of realistic human possibility. It's so exciting. Opes checked it. Opes does know it was very possible Ruan was on a flush draw. And now Michael Ruan with the nuts of the nuts. Doesn't slow play at a bet of 3.75 million. The pot is swelling. Mm. Opes has got to call and hope the board pairs. Well, he still loses if the board pairs. He doesn't know that. We can see all the whole cards. They can't. Oh, okay. Opes has to have concerns about that board, but the bet was so small from Ruan. And he still has possibilities in his mind. He makes the call. We don't see that many straight flushes. What a time for Micro Oran to turn one. And the river card, another 10 Opes improves to that full house, but it's useless. That is cruel and unusual punishment for James Opes. I don't know if he can take any legal action here, but I would defend him. <laughs> 4.7. Opes is going to try to get value for what he thinks is the best hand, 4.7 million. Yeah, he bets just less than quarter of the pot. And if Opes somehow can get away from this hand after Ruan raises, he just saved himself some chips. To Michael Ruan. All in. He raises all Count, in. Count. Count. Look at the size of this pot. If Opes calls here, he'll be left with less than 20 big blinds. This is a life-changing cooler in progress. Considering the stage of the main event we're at, this reminds me of the Jonathan Duhamel, Matt Affleck pot in 2010 that propelled Duhamel to the title and sent Matt home. I will say this, if you're Opst with sevens full and Ruan has shoved all in, 
What can he have? He might have you beat. Well, he looks like he had a straight flush. So could be the best actor of all time. Wow, what a lay down. Ruan will collect that mountain of chips. A big lay down. And now we have a new big stack. Back to action now. Griffin Bender under the gun. Two black aces for the man from Queen City, Hogtown, T Dot, the six. Anything else? The big smoke. Toronto, Canada. He's going to raise it up to 875. Griffin is 31 years old. He just feels 32 or 33 to me. Look at Suf. Oh, my. Two black kings. Big hand at the wrong time. And we now will wait for Will Kasuf because this is his time. In his defense, he also does this with nine deuce. And everyone will wait with him. Benger with a bigger stack by six million. Will's putting that number into his equation on what to do next. He creates his own metronome, though, with the shuffling of the chips. It is impressive. Kasuf in middle position, and he re-raises to 2.3 million. When you've got pocket aces and someone raises, it might be the best feeling in poker. Boy, re-raise sounds better than the Canadian national anthem to Benger right now. Long fold, so back to Benger with the aces. Not to find out where I am. I think I'm ahead at the moment. I think you need to get lucky. I don't know if you always get lucky, it's Gordon. No shame in passing. The best sound of the moment. I'll let you to call by now. So I must have you beat, right? Look, it's all heads up. Don't be shy. Call the folks watching at home. At least crack a smile. No? Oh, incoming. Really? No. Just a Hollywood, right? How many miles from here to Hollywood, do you know? It's like 230 miles or something from here to Hollywood. Do we know? How many miles from here to Hollywood? Haven't we heard his Hollywood routine before? Two shows nightly. There it comes. And there's a four bet to 5.6 million. Back at you, Will. How much? 5.6. 5.6? Find out where you are. So I'll take it if I ship it, you're not passing it. 5.6 total. Kasuf has built his whole image for this moment. Talk a big game, then show up with the goods, except he's crushed. It's a month past Griffin's birthday, but he has to feel like it's right now. Well, this could be the one then. This could be the one. Have you got me covered or have I got you covered? Sure, it's a little far. Do you know? Can you count? What's that? Have you got me covered or? Can you tell me? Okay, how, how much you plan? In total. How much you have at the start of the hand? Benger takes the fifth. Does he not allow, can you all say? He's over 15. He's 17, 18 at least. Benger campaign spokesman Gordon Veo confirms Griffin's chip count. And there's the Kasuf trademarked repeat. It's one of these coolers again, really? Back to back? If you got it, you got it, right? Well, big hand here. I don't think I can pass. Oh, you got me beat. You got me beat. It's poker, isn't it? I can't call. It's either all in or pass. What do you want me to do? You want me to go all in or fold? Talk to me. You don't say anything. I have to ship it. Go right ahead, Will. You ship it. It's a shipwreck. You want to gamble? I'm not here to loud. I'm here to win it. I'm not loudering. Play for the win, right? You doing the same? Are you going to wait for the next page jump at 15? 90k is 90k, right? That's the main event for the next nine years. 
Griffin looks like yeah. he'd just as soon get on with it. Clock. I think I'm after. You're just an abusive person, man. It's not. It's not funny. It's not. It's not a abusive? game. Why, why you're, I... you're being abusive to me. How am I being abusive? You're being abusive. It's called verbal abuse. Why what you're it? doing to me yeah, is verbal abuse. You're not even gaining any what? information. He's what not you're talking doing to you. is verbal just... abuse. Why you're is a bully. Abuse? It's rude. It's mean. It's called speech play. It's not about. I'm no, it's not called up. speech play. It's called being a bad person. You should How's really check person? yourself. Why? why check your privilege. It's called speech play. Check your privilege. I'm trying to get information. Check your privilege. You're a rude person. I'm not a rude person. You're a rude person. It's verbal abuse. This is what it feels like. See now you look at. He's not your daddy. He's not going to help you. Stop. No one is going to help you. Don't need to go no one is going to help Just you. Just call speech. So five point six million heads up. chips. Five point six. That is what the bet is. Five point chips. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. I'm trying yeah. to get information yeah. from no, you. No, you're verbally abusing me. It's not verbal abuse. Yes, it is. Ask anyone else here. Okay. Your word against okay. theirs. You want to gamble? Okay, I'm all in. I call. Let's go. Let's go. Call in and call. Woo! Come on, baby. Let's go. Whatever happens, he's cooler. Whatever happens, he's cooler. He's never folding anyway. Put a king. I don't care. Put a king. I don't care. I'm not slow rolling. I'm putting King out there. I'm fine. My now life fun. is good. Now, you do this now we're having fun. <laughs> yes. Now we're playing poker. Now will be the time. King of Hearts. Watch. Watch. Give it to him. It that. doesn't matter. Hold He's still miserable. I'm happy. I'll show you verbal abuse. You can't take it. You can't take it. That's why. Right. Let it get to you. You're losing. Let it. it get to me. You see me smiling all the time. I'm still smiling. Yeah, you, get, you let it get to you. I got under your skin, man. I got under your skin. <laughs> We've got fireworks now. Let's go. Let's go. The King's coming. I'm telling That's you now, fine. That's King fine. King of Hearts on the floor. That won't change King my life. It won't block. change my life. They're gonna lift off now. It won't change my Watch. life. Watch. All right. Put the King of Hearts on the pow. Smash it. King of Hearts on the pow. I have block. aces. He has kings for everything. We have the aces. We have the aces. Yes. Smash it. Becomes the becomes if he cares. If this gets any worse, it might rival the Russian roulette scene in the Deer Hunter. Kasuf at risk. I say King of Hearts, big heart. King of Hearts on the flop. Almost 28 million in the pot. King, one time. It comes, it comes, it's okay. No king. Oh, king. Okay. We're good, we're good. This feels like Will against the world, and the world is winning. Three, I know. Three, Send this little so it happens, it happens. It's happened to me before. I'll be, I'll be fine. Kasuf stands isolated at the crux of his main event. Baby. Turn card does oh, nothing oh, for Will Kasuf. Oh, oh, come on. What's that? King of the King of the River. Did it say in the pitch? King, King of the River. King of Hearts of the River. We're not. Nice. Three ball. One time. One time. Clear that board. One time. Clear that board. Hold. Clear that baby board. Let's go. Three. Three. No king. No Three. more Kasuf. Flick it out there. Show and the king's me. about. Ping! Show me three. Come on! Come on! Okay. Has he got me covered? Hey, can you someone get a count? Okay. Will wants a count. His count is zero and falling. This massive transaction officially complete, leaving Will Kasup on the outside looking in. So much like, like that should have been. Yeah, that should have been in in five seconds. Out in 17th place. Oh, five, That's a shame. Good game, man. Okay. Okay, good luck. Good luck, man. Good luck. Good luck. If Mike Novinsky luck. won't okay. shake your hand, you need to reassess. Benger plays luck, champion for the yeah, rest of this table who take much joy in this moment. Benger into third place with that massive pot. Will Kasuf with a huge payday. Good luck, sir.